Good morning. No, good afternoon. <laughs> it is July, I want to say 6th. It is finally sunny here in Nova Scotia after what feels like 40 days of rain. <laughs> but now it's stinking hot. <laughs> so we have one weekend left of going to the cottage before my father-in-law arrives. So we're gonna do that this weekend. Uh, and we're supposed to get a bit of a heat wave. So I don't know how much knitting I'll get done. And I was planning on doing a podcast, but I may put that off a week because I don't know if we'll have time this weekend because there's a couple things that we need to get done. And there has not been a whole, whole lot of knitting going on. I mean, there has been. I've made some really good progress on my blanket and I made some progress on my sock. But I have not finished anything. Don't even get me started on the classic sweater. I don't know what my problem is there other than right now it's stinking hot and I don't want to pull out a <laughs> mohair wool <laughs> sweater to work on. So my... Knitting Mojo is back. I'm going like full steam on the hibernation blanket, throw, whatever. <laughs> but that's kind of like been what I've been working on the most other than I've got, I'm almost done the first sock of the Spring Fever, which I said the name right this time, socks. So, and I don't know if I have them here. Oh, maybe I do. I'll wait and show you the blanket later because I gotta get back to work in a few minutes. But I think, oh, here we are, here we are. Here we, I'm doing this one handed because I don't have my tripod. Uh, so I'm, yeah, I'm literally, this is the foot and I have small feet. Do, do, see. <laughs> so I think I have maybe like another inch to knit inch maybe inch and a half and then I'll start shaping for the toe and then that's the first sock of done um oops I find when the heat wave usually hits in the summer we usually get that one heat wave I'm hoping this is the only one <laughs> where it's just like super muggy hot and you don't want to do anything so uh I find once that hits oh my eyeballs itchy um I don't want to work on anything but kind of smaller projects it's just so hot and your hands get sweaty. I'm trying to like close this and with one hand. <laughs> it's not working. Like you can see it's warm. It's like I feel like my head is all shiny. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, where do you go? So we're heading up after work. Actually, I think my husband's going to work up there for the day so he'll go up first thing in the morning and then I will go up at the end of the day and yeah so that's about all that's going on so I think I will wait another week before I do an episode just because I really don't have anything to show um I will say I'm getting really itchy to cast on a sweater but I think what I'm going to do is I really wanted to redo the puntilla um, not redo it, like do another one, um, because I love the one I have so much. And I have Knit Picks, uh, Stroll Tweed in the Fingering Weight. And it's the, I think it's called the Dill Heather Colorway. And I think that's what I'm going to use to knit it. So I may start on that. I think I can handle a Fingering Weight sweater. I know. I haven't finished my other one yet. I know, but you know what? That's not going to happen during the heat wave. <laughs> and I really, I think part of the reason I don't have as much knitting mojo as I usually do is I have been working on the same projects forever with the exception of the hibernation blanket, which I'm now on the kind of the second half of it. So things are decreasing. So I feel like that's going really quickly and I am really enjoying that. But I also want something that might be a little lighter than having a blanket on my <laughs> lap during a heat wave. So I think what I might do, I'll take that with me when we go up to the cottage this weekend. Oh, my eye is really itchy. I think it's allergies. Ooh. Um. Oh, sorry. Um. So, yeah, so I think I will take that up. 
and then um, also take up the what I need to maybe start the until it if I feel like that. I'll take my sock with me as well. Uh, and that's about it that's going on for now. So I will check in with you guys later. Bye. I was old, I was young, I was sitting in the sun, I was tired of the run, I was done. Life was great, life was hard, in a way an awful card, you can't win the lose. But the rain stopped falling And the line on the floor was crawled And the pain I'd been feeling Washed away to return another day I was cold, I was bold I had fragmented my soul into pieces contradicting themselves. Perhaps it is as it is how the world is the mess means that every heart and soul needs to be whole. And the road signs keep changing as the road stretches out ahead and the moon hi okay yeah hi sorry apparently i wasn't done scratching her <laughs> so we had a torrential torrential downpour last night um we had roads like caved in. We had some places that literally got a foot of rain. Um, Bedford Highway was flooded. There was a beaver swimming up it. Um, yeah, and then thunder and lightning um, started in the wee hours of the morning, like, I don't know, two o'clock and somebody was very upset by it. She has never been upset by thunderstorms before, but the last two have upset her very much. <laughs> so I had to take her downstairs to the basement and hang out with her until things calm down. <laughs> so right now I've had so far today Four cups of coffee. And uh, it's about 2.30 in the afternoon, maybe. So we uh, went to the coffee shop. Then we went to the bookstore. And then um, I went and got some groceries. And now I am just going to um, hang out on the couch watch documentary and do some knitting. I'm watching the Bill Gates, what's it called? Inside Bill Gates Mind on Netflix. It's very interesting. I am very close to being done my blanket. I think maybe, depending on how much knitting time I get tomorrow, I may be able to finish the hibernation, habitation throw. Not hibernation, kill me. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to work on that now because I'm so close to the end and I really feel the need to like finish something. I don't feel like I finished something in a very long time. And uh, once I finish that, I think I'm going to cast on the tank top by Svetlana Volkova, the one that I showed my last podcast episode. So that's what I'm doing this afternoon. I may, what's today? 
22nd. Oh, I still got some time before the end of the month. I don't know if I've really, um, if I've really filmed much for July. There wasn't really much going on because it was like pretty much raining every day. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we didn't really go anywhere or do anything exciting. So, it's going to be a very, it's going to be a very boring July podcast. <laughs> anyway, that just sums up, like, everybody's mood this month. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to go work in the blanket. Watch a little Netflix and uh, check back in later. Bye. Yes, it is still morning. <laughs> I think. I think. He's like 11 ish. Um, so I have today off, and I thought I would. I think this is all. This is where I'm at, like with the blanket, the habitation throw, not the hibernation throw, which I kept calling it. <laughs> um. I think I have, I'm almost done this color. I think I may have just maybe this much left before I get to kind of the final triangle corner, which is somewhere here. Anyway, <laughs> so I have a couple hours before my next appointment so I thought what I might do is see how far I can get on this because it's just quick rows now I mean it's only it keeps getting shorter and shorter but here's my thing I think I'm trying to decide what color I want to use 
next. This is the one I'm using currently, which is from a colorway I did quite a while ago. It was called Reaper. And it's just, the color's not super great here. Let me see if I can. A little more light in here. It's sort of like cloudy, sunny, like hazy. It's, we've had a bit of heat warning for the last three days because between fires and floods and torrential downpours and now extreme heat. <laughs> so far the summer's going great. <laughs> so, so yes, <laughs> meanwhile, back in knitting land, this is the uh, Reaper colorway. So it's knits up kind of like, let's see if I can just, I have the my phone sort of precariously balanced on the edge of my computer. So this is like, this was the nice kind of bright blue. This was, I believe, called Shark Week. Blue water, blood red. <laughs> anyway, uh, and I think this here was my uh, Canada Day colorway. So... Then we got Reaper. So I have, I'm trying to see from my stash here what I haven't done. I really, I wanna do this one next, which is September Morn, one of the September Morn colorways. Um, with a dog hair on it, thank you. Um, I just don't know how well that blends, but then I'm thinking, does it even really need to blend? Really? Um, you know, like technically this doesn't blend with this. So, let's, uh, what else do I have? Oh, I could actually, you know what I might do? Um, I think I might do the next line in this, which was a pair of socks. This is the Felici yarn and the Felici yarn that I used earlier is somewhere. Let me find it. Um, which one? Here we are. So this is the Felici yarn from Secret Garden, and that's kind of how that knit up. Now this was when the thing was longer. So this may pool, where did I put it? This may pool differently. And I still think I can get, I think I can get 20 rows out of this because by the time I'm done this one, it's gonna be shorter. Oh uh, yeah, I think I can get and if not, like uh, there's been a couple times where it's like, oh, I think I'm gonna be like two rows short. I just started the other one and finished off like one section with the uh, new color and then started the eyelet row and then kind of, so I'd be like if I was four rows short or something. Cause I think, which one did I run short? Um, here, here. <laughs> so this color here I was running short on and I didn't think I'd have enough to do the next row and the eyelet row so I just started with the Canada Day colorway and did the eyelet rows in that and then also in the like normal one so this here is probably like this would have been 22 rows of color and this one here is like 18 rows of color which isn't a big deal I don't think anybody's going to be sitting there counting rows. Anyway, so I think I'm going to work on this for a little bit. I should be able to get it completed by the next episode. I should, no problem. So then I also have um, a new sweater I'm going to cast on. I'm just trying to decide on the yarn. I think what I'm going to do is I've been wanting to redo my 
um, do another DRK Everyday Sweater by Andrea Mowry because I just didn't like the way the yarn knit, knit. Like, I don't like the yarn I used on the first one I did, but I love the sweater. So I'm going to figure out what yarn I want to use for that, and then I'm going to cast that on. And I think that's going to be a fairly quick knit because it's just kind of your basic raglan. So that's next on the list. I have to finish the sock. What's the other thing I got to finish? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the classic sweater. I'll get to it. I'm not worried about that right now. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm probably going to cap off the um, July vlog here because uh, it's July 27th. <laughs> so I have some um, Mrs. P's peanut butter balls. I got a cup of coffee and I got my knitting. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to uh, sit here and do this for a little while before I get to jet out again. See ya! Thank you.